voltage. Here is point A at the first juncture. And uh, this is where there are now different paths. And here is point B at the second juncture where they meet up again. A single charge, or a single soldier, that comes to point A can only choose one path to follow. That's it. One path to cross. And each path ends at point B. Now, every path is connected to points A and B, which are in turn connected to the terminals of the battery. Therefore, we can say that the voltage across each path is the same. The voltage across this second path is equal to the voltage across that first path, which is equal to the voltage across the third path. So we can say that in any parallel circuit, the voltage across any of the paths is equal to each other. Vt equals V1, which equals V2, which equals V3. Now, let me clarify this a little. What we see here is not a simple parallel circuit. It's slightly more complex, and it's actually called a combination circuit because there is a resistor in series with these parallel portions. Now, the voltage across the battery does not equal the voltage across the parallel sections. Uh, since there's a voltage drop across this first resistor, this means that the voltage drop across the parallel portion will not be the same as across the battery. But it will be true that the voltage drop 2 will equal the voltage drop 3. Because these are in parallel, both will have the same voltage drop. And we can also say that the voltage drop across 4 will equal the voltage drop across 5. These two are in parallel. Both will have the same voltage drop. V4 will equal V5. Now it will also be true that the voltage gains and losses around this circuit will still add to zero. As I gain V from the battery, I can write down plus V. Obviously a loss of negative V1 we'd write down from the first resistor. Now here we can either have a lot, we either have a voltage drop of V2 or V3. Uh, they're both the same, but only one. And I'm just going to call it V parallel 1 to the parallel. Now we have a drop through either V4 or V5, but both the same. I'm just going to call it V parallel 2, and this equals 0. Now, all of this will become clear when we actually look at some questions. But for now, let's move on now to Parallel Circuits, Part 3.